Police say Mark Kerrigan put his hands around his father's neck before the elder Kerrigan fell to the floor and later died. That's just one of the emerging details in the death of the father of Olympic skater Nancy Kerrigan. Mark Kerrigan pleaded not guilty to assault Monday. The 45-year-old has been living with his parents in their Massachusetts home. In their written report, police say Mark Kerrigan wanted to use the phone, but his father wouldn't let him. From the 911 call, police learned that there had been a violent argument and struggle. When officers arrived at the house around 1.30 Sunday morning, they saw blood near where 70-year-old Daniel Kerrigan had been treated by emergency workers. They also spotted three pictures that had apparently been knocked off a wall and a broken piece of the telephone. Police found the younger Kerrigan on a couch in the basement appearing intoxicated. They say he was belligerent and combative, but he did answer questions. Kerrigan's parents previously sued Mark over money they paid to take care of his home while he was in jail. He was released in 2007. Authorities say he has a history of domestic violence. He had some uh, post-traumatic issues with respect to his uh, military service. He goes to see a psychiatrist twice a week. He goes to see a therapist once a week. He takes medications which are absolutely necessary for him. Prosecutors say they have to wait for the results of an autopsy before deciding if they should file more serious charges. His mother, Brenda, told a Boston newspaper her husband died of a heart attack and there was nothing suspicious about the death. Nancy Kerrigan won silver at the 1994 Winter Olympics just a month after being whacked in the knee with a baton. She visited her parents' house Monday but did not talk to reporters. You have seen what the family has been through over the years. I think the ups and downs, the dip on to no family to go to help me do a lot of it. Daniel Kerrigan's funeral has been scheduled for Thursday. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.